Hey guys, we have something brand new to us today. We have a Japan candy box. What's a Japan candy box? It's a box with all candy inside. From where? Japan! What? I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? Yeah! Shall we open it? Yeah! So if you guys don't know what Japan candy box is, they are from the makers of Kawaii Box. They'll send you a box every month for around $20, and it's free shipping to anywhere in the world. Even California? Even California. And right away it says you can share your unboxing to win a Japan candy mega box worth $100. All you need to do is hashtag your picture, Japan Candy Box. I'm so excited. So there's this cute brochure, and the theme is Summer Holiday. Ooh. And it looks like there's lots of goodies inside. And here's some pictures of people enjoying their candy. Who doesn't love candy? So before we get started, let's give ourselves a little sneak peek. Ooh, those look interesting. And it looks like they're snacks too, not just candy. Want to grab the first item? Yeah. Oh wow, that's really small. It looks like a crazy Furinka Beauty Rose Gum. Crazy Furinka Beauty Rose Gum. What is Beauty Rose Gum? It's such pretty packaging. So it looks like a gum that like makes your teeth smell fresh. And I think it's like rose flavored. That's weird. So it could make your Breath smell like rose too, maybe? Like a bouquet of flowers? <laughs> Who's gonna try it? Me! Me! You guys gonna try it? Okay, you're brave. I guess I'll try one too. So inside, they come packaged like this. And then when you open it, it looks like that. And you guys, it totally smells like rose. It says in the ingredient list, there's also collagen, vitamin C, and authentic damask rose oil as a flavor. So, this is really different. Yep. Tasting it now. Mmm. It tastes like perfume. Mmm. <laughs> and kind of sweet. I don't really. Kind of like fruit, but fruit mm. with perfume on it. It's so weird. Mm. I do not know what it tastes like. What do you think? It is so good. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's definitely an acquired taste. Mm. Mm. This is so good. I actually kind of like it now. It kind of grows on you. It is very different though. Uh, I totally forgot to mention, um, Japan Candy Box is actually hosting, or we're hosting a giveaway for Japan Candy Box. So um, check in the description box below and we'll have a link where you can possibly win one of your own. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Do you want to pick the next thing? Ooh, these are like chips. So they are Tata A Black Pepper Potato Chips. Yum. And they're by Calbi, which is a pretty popular Japan brand. Um... This kata aj means hard and fried. This bag is filled with extra crispy black pepper flavored potato chips. I love potato chips. Me too. Definitely I, trying this. I love potato chips, except I don't really like black pepper. Okay. Well, I'm definitely trying this too. You want to try this or you want to skip mm -hmm. this one? Hmm. I'll try just a tiny bit. Okay. So I'm actually not that sure of this, so I'm going to do it. I want to eat it first because it's spicy because yeah. I don't really like spicy stuff. I like spicy stuff. So here's what it looks like inside. Oh, look, there's some wish chips. 
one of little sis's friends told me recently if you get a chip that is like folded that's like a wishing chip and you can make a wish so I'm gonna think of a wish you guys think of a wish don't tell me what it is okay but after till we eat it yes <laughs> like after tongue chips <laughs> So here's what it looks like. There's a good amount of black pepper on there. And I'm going to try it. Are you going to try? Mm -hmm. Are they spicy? I got another wishing chip. Smells pretty good. Yeah. They smell very strong. But... They taste pretty good. They're only a teeny tiny bit spicy. I really like them. I like them, but I don't like the spiciness. I like that they're super crunchy. I could definitely eat a bag of these. One whole bag? I love potato chips. Should we go to the next one? Yeah. Okay. I definitely like the chips better than the Ooh, it looks gum. like tutti. Oh, these look really fun. So they're Dora Choco mini pancakes. Nice. These are fun, dagashi sized candy version of the traditional Japanese Dorayaki red bean paste pancakes. That is so cool. Yeah, I really want to try that one. I wonder if there's like a red bean in it then. Mm -hmm. That's really neat. You guys gonna try it? Yeah! yeah. I can't wait to eat it. Oh no, but there's only three, so I guess one of us. I mean two, so I guess. Oh, we can share. Oh yeah. wow, okay, so there's two, and it's like, definitely got pancake texture. I was not expecting that. And then in the middle is red bean. But this is a candy version. Hmm. Very interesting. You guys want to split it? Yeah. So that's what it looks like on the inside. I'm very curious about them. Yeah. Uh, you guys want to split that? Or here you can have some of this. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. It doesn't taste like candy. It actually tastes like a red bean. Pancake. To me, it tastes like a pancake with syrup. It's really sweet. It's really good. And the middle tastes exactly like syrup. That splits into fruits in the neck. Oh, <laughs> well, let's save this for later. Yeah, it tastes almost like a Twinkie or something, but it's just got like a different kind of filling inside. Mm, this tastes really good. Yeah. These are all pretty good so far. Want to pick the next one? Ooh, this says so, Dole on it, like Dole Pineapple. The Dole Dessert Peach Yogurt Gummy Candy. Yum. Yummy. So I'm guessing they're like, kind of taste like yogurt, but like peach at the same time. Yeah, it says there's a yogurt base and a tasty Dole Peach Jelly Top. Ooh, That yummy. sounds really good. Yeah. It's like a big two, so maybe it's like two in one kind of thing. That sounds cool. It sounds so good. I'm really going to try that one. Yeah, and it also looks like sushi. Kind of. Okay, let's try it. Normally, um, if you get kawaii uh, box, there's some candy in, and we don't try it in the video, but this is really fun. Yeah, but this is all candy. Oh, I also forgot to mention that we'll also, um, so we'll leave a link for the contest, but we'll also leave a link if you want to get your own box. And um, if you follow our link, you'll get $5 off your first box. So this is what they look like. Wow. They look kind of like gummies. Yeah. Kind of yeah. interesting. You want to pick one? And they look like sugar gummies. There's like 
I don't know, probably like 10 or something in there. Yeah, so the top, the top has kind of a candy base and then the bottom looks more like yogurt. Mm, I like it. What does it taste like? It tastes like peach, a little bit like peach, and yogurt. It tastes exactly as you predicted. And it also tastes like some gummies, like little gummies. Did they Yeah, it tastes like those, what are those peach candies called? Like sour peaches? Sour peaches? It kind of yeah, tastes like that, peaches. but they're not really sour, they're more sweet. And like then you get this peaches? kind of lingering yogurt like flavor. It's really nice. I like that one. Yeah, yeah. they're good. Okay. So far, so good. Everything's really delicious. Mmm. I think we ate that one before. I think we did. I think they were like strawberry. They're and pan man, coral coral, chocolate ball, but now they're chocolate. Oh yeah, I think we got one of these, but it was strawberry. Yeah, now it's chocolate. So you know these are going to be good because they're chocolate. So they're chocolate featuring characters from famous anime and Catman. A superhero whose head is made from a red bean paste bun. So I guess his head is made from the pancakes we just ate. <laughs> That's so funny. I love how they all have like an interesting backstory. Oh, this packaging is so cool. Yeah. Oh look, so it opens like that. You can see, see the picture there, but now it pops up. It kind of look like whoppers. You can just like take it. Oh yeah, too. that's kind of neat. Anyway, I'm having one. So yeah, they kind of look mm. like whoppers. They taste like whoppers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're like chocolate, and they taste like whopper cookie almost in the middle. Yeah, it's kind of. Got a kind of malted taste. It definitely reminds me. Yeah, like of the wafers. strawberry. It reminds me of Whoppers. And of the strawberry one. Next. Ooh, ooh, another savory. I love savory. These almost look like those veggie straws you can get. Oh, these are different though. Read the description. So. They're Tohato Caramel Corn Matcha Green Tea, Crispy Non-Fried Caramel Corn Snacks Flavored with pre Premium Yuji Matcha. Matcha Green Tea from Kai Kyoto, Kyoto Perfection. That really is so weird. Though. I totally thought they were just going to be like... Like these pea snacks that we've had, but it yeah. turns out they're corn, and it's caramel corn, and it's got green tea. Well, I'm going to try it. I can't really wrap my head around that right now, so I'll have to taste it and see what that tastes like. Are you going to try it? Yeah, yeah. except I never really tried green tea because I'm only eight. <laughs> I will say that this um, candy box really can expand your palate because like we haven't tried I don't think any of these except for maybe the little chocolate ball so yeah they kind of look like those like green veggie peas straws. or veggie straws if you've yeah. ever had those from like not having them either. no I just looked at it and it tastes horrible <laughs> so it definitely it smells like veggie. smells like green tea It's sweet, like caramel. I'm not loving them. <laughs> yeah, I'm not loving them. I, I just licked them. And they, they taste like veggie chips, but sweet. And also, also tea flavored. <laughs> that is definitely a quiet taste. I could see some people liking them, especially people that like really enjoy green tea. Like, I like green tea, but for some reason, I'm not a big fan of matcha or green flavored, green tea flavored things. I think that's the worst one so far, actually. Yeah. Even worse than the rose gum. <laughs> Although, maybe it might grow in you after a while. I don't know. Can you grab the next thing? Mmm. 
three more left. These look They're like gummies. Marukawa strawberry shaved ice gum. And it looks like ice it's a spray. And that means water. Oh, yeah. It says shaved ice is a popular Hawaiian dessert loved by all Japanese during the hot summer months. It's a spray. So it's shaved ice gum. Gum. Hmm. And water so because... Gum. Because spray means water. Yes. Well, it looks kind of similar. Yeah. But there's a little dot there. So, huh. Another gum. Another Ooh. gum. And it looks, oh, weird. They're they so like, long. <laughs> how about, how about we'll just, no, we'll just um, break it into three, okay? Because I don't mm -hmm. think we can eat that much. Because, uh. Because we still have more snacks to try. I smell really like strawberry powder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. Weird. Ah. Oh. It has kind of a slurpy taste. I definitely do get that shaved ice. Flavor. I just spit it out. I don't like it. You didn't it. like it? It kind of, like it reminds me of like the syrup or something. And a Slurpee? This if is, you didn't have a Coke Slurpee, but like a a berry Slurpee or something? This is my worst one so far. Really? Mm -hmm. I like it. Do you like I it? Am, yeah, I like it. I actually can't taste it that much. Like the flavor. Really? I can totally taste it. But yeah, it just tastes sweet. Unless I move it on top of my tongue, then. I like it better than the rose one. I like the rose one better. Really? That's yep. interesting. You said we have a couple more? Oh, cool. Oh, this one's so cute. So, it's uh, Yumaimo Snack Stick Vegetable Salad. So vegetable Salad? <laughs> it's a little <laughs> snack stick, I'm guessing. And then it's like vegetable salad. I'm just going to try a teeny Weird. bit of this. So it's kind of like a big potato chip or something? Or maybe it's like a... I see it's only one of them, so we have to let Pratt in. Maybe it's like a corn chip, but it's like vegetable salad flavor. That is just so, like, I can't even wrap my head around it. It's I so wild. I don't like salad. <laughs> I'm really curious about this because I enjoy savory snacks. I wonder so. what's the taste like, but I'm just gonna have a little bit of it because I hate. Oh my salad. gosh! It looks like oh. a giant Cheeto. <laughs> like it looks like, a, like a donut. That is so Cheetos. crazy. That's that so crazy. So interesting. Are you ready for this one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's gonna turn into like Cheeto dust. I see that. I'm just gonna take a little bit. Uh, hang on, we might have to come back. So here it is again. Now it looks like a hash brown. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's like this donut, like circular Cheeto type thing. If it was flatter, it would be a donut. It will yes. really be like, like, like. Uh uh. Mm. That's pretty good. I hate it. It tastes like a cheese puff. Oh, what? It tastes like a Cheeto. It tastes like a. It tastes like a cheese puff. Like it kind of yeah. melts in your mouth. It tastes like a cheese puff, but at the end, to me, it tastes a bit like a spring roll. Like a spring roll. I really hate it. It does have kind of that. Cheese. Like veggie, not really veggie flavor, but kind of a like veggie seasoning. Not like it tastes like a carrot, but you know seasoning. Mm. I actually don't mind it. I like I it. I actually really like this too. Yeah, surprising, isn't it? How many do we have left? Two. But I thought these Oreos. In oh, oh, this is heavy. Wow. They're Nikado yeah. vanilla cream biscuits. Wow. Says the refreshing sweetness of vanilla cream sandwiched between delicious mm. cocoa. That sounds like an Oreo. Yep, avocado. Yeah, really it's like really. I'm really gonna try that. It's one. really full. 
It's really heavy. Can I try? Oh, yeah. Heavy. Yeah, it's probably the heaviest thing in the box. So, this is really fun. I'm really going to try that one. I like trying it's all these so, different yeah. things. So good. And, and I love, sorry? I think I actually tried all of them. I said I was only going to like at least like half of them. Yeah, it's really neat. I, I love the packaging on Japanese candy and snacks. They're so like fun and creative. They look so like Oreos. They, they look like mini Oreos. Oh, so they look like Oreo. Messy. Like I feel like I need a mini glass of milk. And it tastes like Oreos. It tastes so much like an Oreo. And yeah, it looks like except it's mini. Yeah, they're like those. If there was a thing like mini Oreo packs. I think there are mini Oreo packs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's just exactly like Oreo. But it's from Japan, so it makes it even cooler. Yeah. Yep. And the design's different on the chocolate cookie. Oh, yeah, look at the design. It's so fun. And it's so good. Mm. Last but not least, we have these. Little bones. Oh, I think we've had stuff They're like this before. Sanrio characters ribbing biscuits. Ribbon biscuits. So I think I had like one of these and they're like panda kind of thing and they have chocolate or strawberry filling inside from TNT. Yeah. Mm. I don't know what these, they might have nothing inside, but yeah, they basically just taste like bread. I think the ones that we've had. Like crap. Or like a cracker, like a really like an like animal a cracker, stick, like a breadstick. Oh yeah, definitely. You ready to try this one? Yep. Yeah, this mm. one looks really like my. It's style. definitely gonna be good. Yeah, I think this is pretty normal, pretty bland. I like plain stuff, but today I've tried a lot of out of the box. <laughs> yeah, lots of interesting flavors for sure, like veggie mm. salad. Like. Mine has like a little dot pattern. Oh, are they different? Yeah, they mine do. is normal light. Oh, okay. But what? mine has a dot pattern. Oh, okay. So they're just random. Oh, yeah. There's some. Look, this. Sorry, I found one. Looks like a Hello Kitty. Oh. Oh. It almost one. looks like a dog bone. <laughs> I found one too. Pretty regular. Yeah, they just taste like bread They're sticks. They're so cute. Mm. I'm gonna try this it's one now. Definitely be good for younger kids because they're just really bland. Now I found And like if you have school, it'll be like just snack. It'll yeah, definitely good fine. snack for school. They're not that messy either. So we tried to put everything in the box, even though all the packaging's open and we've eaten everything or a little bit of everything. What did you guys think? Well, my favorite were these dummies and the Oreos. Yeah. Oh, and I also like this and the chocolates. Mm -hmm. I like all of them, but I have to say my favorite is the red bean paste because it reminded oh, these me... Ones? Yeah, it reminded me of pancakes with syrup on top, and it's so unique. I like all of them except this one, this one, this one, and that one. Well, that's not all of them. <laughs> I actually think I liked all of them. The rose gum was a little off-putting at first, but then I actually didn't mind it. The only thing I didn't really love was like the caramel corn snack with the green tea it was a little weird, but... I could see maybe you'd still eat it, like if there was nothing else to snack on or something. But I really enjoyed the black pepper chips. I like the veggie stick thing. Um, yeah, the veggie stick thing. And I liked the gummies. Yeah. And I thought these were kind of cool. The the gum that tastes yeah. like a That's shaved I ice. Hate it. I liked it. And I liked the rose one better. So yeah, this is... Um, well, this was given to us by Japan Candy Box, so thank you so much. I don't think we've actually thanked them yet, but thank you so much for sending us yeah. this to review. It was so much fun. And oh, it tastes so good. And yeah, this would be really fun, um, you know, with your family or a bunch of friends, have a get-together. You could do, like, 
a taste challenge. Guess which one, what type of candy it is. Yeah, for sure. Like, and it's twenty dollars a month. Um, look in the link below, and we'll um, give you a link, and you can get five dollars off your first box. You can visit every month. Yeah, you can get it every month, but honestly. Um, even with Quiet Box, like it's a monthly subscription, but you can cancel like after one month. So if you want, you can just try one month and you can just cancel it, um, you know, and then sign up again when you want to. So there's like no commitment, which is nice. There's like the free shipping. They ship to like anywhere in the world, which is really cool. And uh, we'll even also have the United, the, States. the United States. Yes, Canada, like all around the world. I think this actually came from Richmond. Germany. It will ship to Richmond, um, and we'll, we have a contest going on with Japan Candy Box, so look in that description box, and there'll be a link. You can, you know, sign up for our Instagrams, our YouTubes, there's, like, lots of different ways to enter. The more uh, social media channels that you follow, the more chances you'll have, so yeah, I really recommend it. Um really totally like all the things in the box so we totally want you to get it because it's awesome yep and yeah there was like how many things there was like one two three four five six seven eight there's like ten things for like twenty dollars yeah. so it's like two dollars to try each thing like and it's like coming from japan like i i don't know about you guys but i don't think i've seen any of these like, even in our, like, Asian supermarket. So, it's pretty cool that you can, you know, <laughs> get all this, like, cool candy imported. <laughs> and delivered to your mailbox every month. And you can try it. Yeah. Thank for watching this video. And thanks again to Japan Candy Box for letting us review this. And for um, letting us host this awesome giveaway. Check out the description box. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click on that notification bell. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.